Halifax's new organics facility can turn food waste like this into this. This is our finished product. Yeah. So this would be uh, Class A compost okay. uh, with unrestricted use for uh, growing food and, and other crops. The new facility in Goodwood opened in September. It replaces two former facilities in nearby Ragged Lake and Burnside. They turned out poor quality compost that was too wet and acidic to meet provincial guidelines. But the new site uses the latest technology to process waste within three months. The software takes over and we're able to manage the oxygen and the moisture of the material. So again, we're just providing the conditions necessary for the microbes to do their thing. The old process used to take nearly a year. This is like a Ferrari compared to the jalopies, right? Not that there was anything wrong with the original facilities. They did their intended purpose and mm. they finished out their, their lifespan, but this is the latest and greatest. The compost is sold to an agricultural company, but the municipality is planning public giveaways next year. The city hopes this could encourage people to properly recycle. About 10% of garbage that ends up in the landfill is still food waste. We want to be able to get this into the, literally into the hands of people so they can see the efforts that they've been putting in are really worthwhile. The building is off the grid, using storm water and staying warm thanks to the composting process itself. So these vessels would get up to about 60 degrees C and we can redirect that air uh, to provide heat for the facility. The reality of composting is the facility does stink, but it has new ways to keep odors inside and away from neighbours. It's a breath of fresh air. Garbage trucks pull into an airlock system where the outer door closes before the interior one can open. Air is also sent through acid scrubbers and filtered before it's vented out a roof stack. Simon says this makes a real difference for people living nearby. And when I explained the odor locking doors, that was the beginning and the end of the conversation. This convinced them. That air scrubbing has another benefit. It creates ammonium sulfate, which can be used as a liquid fertilizer. The facility handles about 53,000 tons of waste a year, with a capacity of 60,000 to keep up with a growing city. Haley Ryan, CBC News, Halifax.